As Kenya spared loved ones and the Morning Nation grapples with the Westgate Mall chaos, questions are surfacing about what happened, how it happened, and who was involved. Also about who may have aided the Kenyan military as the shopping center was stormed. Speculation swirling around the possible Israeli involvement prompted CCTV correspondent Stephanie Feed to visit a Israel training site where men and women trained to handle terror. These trainees are learning how to load and shoot for the first time. Their aim is to ultimately guard banks, schools, and malls. They're at a private academy in southern Israel that equips recruits with the skills necessary to recognize and ward off hostile attacks. Run by former commanders of elite commando and intelligence units, company clients include Macy's, the Hungarian Defense Forces, Bloomingdale's, Latvia's military, and the Nigerian government. Basically, the difference is that we are focusing on people. We are not focusing on the equipment, we are not focusing on uh, rumors, we are focusing on people. So all the methods, all the Israeli methods, basically is to recognize the problem or recognize the people before something has happened or before attack. There are dozens of private Israeli-run security firms operating globally, competing for contracts with U.S. and European outfits. The experts here say the number one client these days for exported protection is Africa. Intel reports from the Westgate Mall attack indicate private Israeli firms were operating on the ground in Nairobi, but only in advisory modes. According to the experts, the most common types of attacks are bombings, use of guns and grenades, suicide bombings, and sniper fire. <laughs> Training teaches personnel to negotiate all of these situations and to also contemplate everything from mass scale to personal attack. In our line of work, you must be and in your best shape all day long, every shift, every second, because every second means life or death. The decision to privately secure people and facility often boils down to money. With protective personnel sometimes charging upwards of $1,000 a day, the cost to secure a single facility can run into the millions. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Tel Aviv.